Alrighty. Same old, same old. Quick setup. Put Anara back There's in. There's still a long road ahead. There's still a long road ahead. Again, is there? I never hear you say anything, so I don't. I don't know about the veracity of that statement. Okay, two to go. Oh, what if number three is. Oh, sorry, number, three, number seven is all three of them together? That just occurred to me. Since it won't be just the one element. Well, that's gonna suck if that's the case. Like, big time. I think he does more damage with his hits. So I'll leave him out. There's no point even using anybody else because I need the clay mods to hit hard. Get the protection. Go harder, go home. Oh, her cool down comes before he is. Let's stay on her. You suck. goes. One more pillar. Boom skis. Again, having two claymores in the party, kind of beneficial for these kinds of things. There's, I don't see many other benefits outside of, of the hypostasis, but definitely useful for these guys. And that just leaves one. Oh, I swear to god, if it's all three... This may be an issue. Okay, what is it? Oh, it is all three! <laughs> oh no. Please tell me it's one after the other, not all three at the same bloody time. Do it in the chorus of the elements of wind, thunder, and earth. Challenge the three pure hypostases, Animo, Electro, and Geo, each in their turn. That's great. Except I'm gonna have to take Lunara out. Unfortunately. Good god, that's gonna be a challenge and a half. Um because I won't be able to have the two animo. Oh, but then I've you got Bade want me on your team. Okay, okay, we're gonna have to remember not to use Bado for the electro. Oh shit, I hit escape, I'm an idiot. Yes, dart. Okay. And we've got a time limit, let's not forget this. So let's focus forwards. Focus on what's happening here. Who starts? Of course you bloody start. Anytime you like to actually start, you just let me know. Submit for judgment. Back off. Eyes on me. Okie dokie. Might do with this. This is a slow way, apparently. Get the two there, drop, grab the one before it disappears, and then the one there. Boom, skis. Off we go. And then we just wait for it to be vulnerable. At some point in time, without killing me. Ah, of course you would. I'll bring Tommy into this fight. He can hit hard. But we'll use his E ability. Oh well. Swift and merciful. Next. Okay, don't use Bade doll. <sighs> I can never figure out when it's gonna do the single or the double. For A touch of heart too late. Oh, it's nope, no, that's fine. It's gonna be a lot slower not having that fourth character. That's okay. Yep, I knew that was gonna happen. That's okay. Swift and merciful. 
Oh, she did it. She did it. Nice work. Nice work, Jean. Wrong person. From whence you came. One with my play. Yes. Got him? Yes, I did. Hi, Mr. Geo. Now time for the two of you to shine. Power the desert fight on. Force my play. Okay. She's a oh, she didn't like do too much. Teleport. Wherever you're going, do it. Oh, that's nice. Not really what I'm after. Where are you? I can't even see it. One with my boy. There. I can see you. Look at these pillars. So close yet so far. What are you doing exactly? Just try ah. Okay, we should just stick to those who know what they're doing. And the last rock pillar. Oh no, we get you down to health first, don't we? One with my boy. Last pillar. And that is three for three. All waltz of earth, wind, and thunder complete. Oh, um, yeah, about that. Party setup. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta put Lenora back in, otherwise we'll be stuck with Bennett. Bennett, Lenora. Just what will we come across th this time? I don't know, Lenora. I don't know. And that's the last one. And we can get our first claim there. And we're gonna run away and never do that again. Doesn't that sound like a magnificent plan? Except we need to go back and grab the uh, adventure rank rewards that I completely forgot about while I was right there at the Adventurers Guild. Shame on you, Mish. You should have known better. That's probably why I went there in the first place, at the end of the last ep. Actually, no, it wasn't at the end of the last ep. I believe I did all that leveling after I finished the last ep, and it wasn't even that long to level up the characters and do all like the dominions and the uh, dominions, domains, whatever. Uh, Add and do all the Welcome to healer shell slaying to get objects. And it only took me about three and a half hours, and then I think another hour, another day. It wasn't that time consuming, but whatever. Okie dokie, what is that? Fragile resin, great. I use those during um events. That's what I use them for. We have the prism program. Break all of the Electro Hypostasis Revival Prisons before it can be revived. Yeah, I did that. Yay me. Reach Reputation Level 8 in Mondstadt. How do you know what your reputation is in Mondstadt? What, does that track somewhere? I don't, I don't think it does. What? Righto. Now with all of that done, shall we continue? Was there anything here that we could do? Well, other than them. This was a uh, adventure quest, wasn't it? 
Yeah, that's it. Hmm. Hmm. And the treasure goes to, you discovered a strange encampment in Lingju Pass. I don't even know what that is. Something seems to have happened here. Look for the missing scholar. I don't know where that is. Lingju Pass. There. Nope. Doesn't ring a bell. Uh, is it easy to go on the path or from the height? No, we'll go from the path. I think if I go from the height, I've got to climb up and then go down. And that seems like a lot of effort. I'm lazy. Ugh. That place. Yeah, I remember going there. I don't remember what I was killing, but I remember going there. Here's the Charles. I need to kill you for level up material. Don't run away. I actually actively want to attack you instead of running away from you like per usual. Oh shit, they're Geo Fuckers. They're also... I was going to say they're two levels above me, but they're not. Because they're only level 47. Oh, I was thinking I was 45, but now I'm 55. Have I gotten rid of all your stupid shields? I have. Brilliant. In which case, feel the wrath of... Jean and Lenora! Okay, one damage mask for that effort. That saddens me greatly. Now there's a big boy up here. Big boy Geo. Of course. Ow. Hey. That was pathetic. Waste my super ability. There we go. Gotten rid of that bullshit. I swear by my sword. Just give everybody a bit of heals. Damage mask, yes. And we continue heading in the correct direction. Nope. I don't want to quarrel with you lot. By that lot, I'm in the Animo. Cluster over there. Oh no. You again. <sighs> Bane of my existence, you are. Hide from me, then attack me. Swift and merciful. Oh shit, hi. Well, fortunately, I do need you as well. For uh, some other things that I can't remember. Oh, they seem to be damaging the damn thing. Further upwards. Oh well, done now. Oh, it's shields back. Just die. Oh, we're even facing the right way, you idiot. And there's my whopper flower nectar. Huzzah! A little worse for wear. We'll take it. I don't think I ever use slime condensate for anything. Uh, where is this animoculi? Or geoculi, rather? Hidden, apparently. Is it in the tree? Nope, it's just invisible. Okay. Hi, what do you guys want? Have a taste. Uh. I don't think so, sir. Oh dear god. I was trying to get the ability, but it wasn't working. So, so much for that idea. Goodbye. Oh, so close. So far. Uh, I'm not following it. Yes, apparently I am. Prepare to be blown away. Ooh. Oh, 
someone's been, uh... Thank you! Uh... Imprisoned. I need that. And is there one last dude trying to attack me? Yes, over here. Somewhere. There you are! <coughs> one hit. Literally one hit. Wow. Okay, well... That gets me more of those insignias, which is great, because somebody needs those. Uh, I, what I, I get a treasure hoard is key. What the hell am I supposed to do with that? Anyway, hi! Shall I free you? Oh, I see. That's what the key's for. Alrani, you don't want to... I know the door's open, but like, you don't want to step outside. Okay. Thank you so much. I thought I was truly finished. That group of treasure hoarders have been following me this entire time. Just as I had finally made some progress in my research and was thinking that it might be nice to find the treasure here and take it back with me, the treasure hoarders invaded my camp, nabbed me, and brought me here. They keep questioning me as to the treasure's location and threatened to take my life if I refused to tell them. But if I had told them just like that, that really would have been the end of me. I should have listened to Soraya. She always insists that archaeologists like us should be focused on academic results instead of treasure. But I only get this much funding. A few essays won't be enough to break even on my travel expenses. I can't for the life of me say how Soraya has managed to stay in Liyua by herself for all this time. Just looking at her pile of rejected manuscripts makes me feel exhausted. So how does she stay funded? Is Soraya into criminal doings? to fund herself? Hmm, what do you plan to do now? Well, what else? I finished gathering my research material. As for the treasure, well, you can have it. Well, I suppose I've got to find it first. I'm not repeating the convoluted thought process that brought me here. All you need to know is that the treasure is buried underneath that giant golden tree in the middle of Lingyu Pass. Take it if you want. I'll write down the description for you so you don't forget. I'll rest for a while, and then I'll head back to my camp to gather up my things. I have to get out of here as soon as possible, lest more treasure hoarders come back. I have no idea how long it'll take for me to get from here to Wangshu Inn. I can only hope that Soraya hasn't already left by the time I get there. <sighs> if only Soraya could be my tutor. Bye bye! Golden tree, you say? That one? Because this is technically... <laughs> Lingju Pass, and that is technically the center of it. Yeah? Well, gone for it. Oh, hey, you respawned. <laughs> missed. I mean, I hit him, but I technically missed. Um, I don't really feel like going down there, so, you know. Oh. Oh, hi. Hold on, I don't want to kill you first. Gotta kill this dude first. I hate him, my dude. Okay, now get rid of this one. Electro is really not going to help my situation here. Get the electro reaction. Man, you guys are sturdy. I cannot get through to you. You completely freaking missed. Are you kidding me? Okay, that is, is him. It. Oh god, don't tell me that just... Are you kidding me? And why are you there? That's just a no from me. 
Okay, where is this other dude? Oh. Is he gonna respawn up here? Or is he like technically? Okay, he's gonna stay down there. Sure. Now, where over here somewhere? I'm thinking here on this lovely dirt patch. Thanks. I needed that. Appreciate it. And some primal gems. Yay for primal gems. And I never figured out this puzzle, did I? I can put Geo there, but it does nothing with the other two. It's all very confusing. Never really understood. There's nothing back here. I mean, I'll do it again, for argument's sake, but it, it never works. Ow. There goes my elbow. Hang on. Oh, for God's sake. Happy? Don't disappoint me. And then literally nothing happens. That slit, that slit, those two are always red. So... I don't know what the missing piece of the puzzle is, but clearly... I don't have it. Did you just see that? There was something up on that ridge. It was large. And terrifying. Just what will we come across this? Nothing on that ridge again? No. Yep, there it is. It's a ruin guard. That's what the bloody thing is. Okay, well, that was nice and brief. I like it. If only these were all so brief, that one's probably not going to be quite so brief. So back to the Liyue mission, an organization known as Wang Sheng. Uh, we need to go to... Do we have to go back to the dude? Yes, here we go. This one. About to say, that, that doesn't sound right. This one sounds right. Come for the storm. Your secret investigation reveals that Gentry Malka... Oh, again, those C's. I don't know how to pronounce C's. Need to satisfy a deal he made with the Fatui. Is the reason why he is pressuring Chung the Ninth to aid Chung... Chinshu... <laughs> yeah, Chin... Oh god, I've suddenly pronounced how to pronounce things. Xingchu. 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 I spend a letter to the Feiyun Commerce Guild in hopes that they will lend a hand. I was say, so who am I talking to? I've got to go back to him. All right, and purchase this ore. Yes, we were halfway through this quest and we abandoned ship. Right, and we were literally right next to him as well. And then we decided to go somewhere else. Well, please tell me it was for an event. I didn't just decide to be stupid for no reason. <laughs> In any case, let us climb. Do, do, do anything really take sweet flowers and mint? Because I've really yet to come across a use for either of those uh, ingredients. I hesitate to call them ingredients because they're flowers and you don't really put flowers in food. Unless you're weird. Okay, I am back. Now, just who I was hoping sell to me see. the ore, please. I was just thinking to myself... Gentry Mount Size thugs have been mysteriously absent for a while now. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Oh, I don't know, she says, uh, twiddling her thumbs. Oh, don't worry. You won't be hearing from them again. Oh? What? what happened? Not only that, but we'd like to purchase your core lappers. Huh? Oh, oh, I see now. You're, you're in this trade too. So, you're trying to beat him to the post, eh? Appearances can be deceiving, that's for sure. Why does he sound like he's suddenly accusing me of something? But I don't care who you are. A discount of 70% is simply impossible. The, the maximum I can, can do is 40% price? off, and even then I'm, I'm only breaking even. No need. We'll take it at the market rate. Y you mean you're not trying to force the price down? Wh what, what's going on? If I died and gone to heaven? Well, it's got nothing, don't take it personally. It's got nothing to do with you. It's just the fact that we need to get all the ore in, ore in the area. I can't believe it. I will make a profit on this batch after all. Look at that. You can do what you want to do. What, what, what did you want to do? It was books, right? Did you have to sell off your books? Oh gosh, it's so long ago, I don't remember. But whatever it is, use the, the money wisely. A gentry mount sized thugs could still come back after I've sold it. If Paimon told you they're not going to bother you again, then you'd better believe they're not going to bother you again. Yes, because I can trust that face. 
Rest assured, you were safe selling to us. Huh. Okay, then. My situation can hardly get worse from here in any case. Look at that glass half full. But tell me, what on earth do you plan to do with so much core lapis? Actually, it's for a commission. Can't go into too much detail. We'll send someone to collect the goods later. Thank you. Thank you a million times over. I really don't know what to say. Don't think it's yet. Wait till we've finished at least. Good people always get what's coming to them in the end. And so will the nasty people. Anyway, let's get going, because apparently we have a show to watch at the Feiyun Commerce Guild's warehouse. It's gonna be fun, that's for sure. Uh, back to the Commerce Guild warehouse, one assumes. Yep. Fireworks are gonna go off. Is that where the warehouse was? I thought the warehouse was down on the harbour. I obviously don't remember correctly. Oh, yes, yes, yes. No, I remember climbing the hill behind Liyue. I do remember doing this thing. Oh, wow. Look at the flowers. That's gorgeous. That's a warehouse. That, this is not where I remember going. This cannot be where you're storing all the goods. Surely not. Welcome. The final act in this drama would not be complete without you two here as audience. You better believe it! We're the ones who've been doing all the work! What exactly have you been doing all this time? A very good question, Paimon. Uh, well, naturally, I used the time to immerse myself completely in Legend of the Shattered Halberd. I managed to finish the book off, and I enjoyed every minute of it. What's that gonna do with anything? Divine Halberd, an ominous sword. Mir and Wei Young, the way the story develops across the first five volumes, nothing short of exemplary. But the sixth volume? Oh, words fail me. But what is the relevance? How blessed we are to have such an author grace our world with such works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is related to Gentry Meltsai, how? That's what I would like to know. It's not. But when something surpasses expectations to such a degree, one must show one's appreciation. <sighs> Thanks, Chin Chu. Appreciate it. Ching! There's a G there. Ching Chu. You saw how everything would play out. Is the. Okay. I mean, is the ending of the book good? It was rather good. Thanks. I only hope that as our plan reaches its denouement, it too will live up to its expectations. Why does Paimon have to be the only one who doesn't get what's going on? No fair! If I had to take a guess, Paimon, I would say that. We are using the acts of the book and reflecting it in real life in this situation so that we get a parallel circumstance and a similar outcome. Uh, so go on then, tell me, what are we doing here? And what's this big dramatic showdown thing that's supposed to happen? Well, Maltzai being very, very, very angry. Think about for it. For a start. Gentry Maltzai goes searching for Core Lapis all over Liyue Harbor, and he doesn't find a single piece. Sucker. He panics. Without the goods, he can't fulfill his contract. And if he can't fulfill his contract, he can't stay in good standing with the Fatui. He hears a rumor that the Feiyun Commerce Guild is the culprit. Panic turns to disbelief. Jinshi Maotsai is a hugely powerful figure in the business world. Never has anyone dared to target him like this. So regardless of whether it is revenge or a swift resolution that he seeks, he is certain to... Is he here? So it was you! Hi! You were the ones sticking your necks out for Chang the Ninth! Chang! Chang the Ninth! Good god. Speak of the devil. Why is no one of the comments guild here? That was guild. Just said really weirdly. Shouldn't they be here, like, defending their interests? I went everywhere trying to find someone selling core lapis before I realized the Feiyun Commerce Guild had been on an acquisition spree. Hey, that's just business, buddy. We needed a, a resource, we went out and sourced it. That sounds like a you problem. Core Lapis is hardly a rare mineral, and yet suddenly the stocks dry up, just like that. Explain yourselves. What is the meaning of this persecution? We are not persecuting you, but protecting another. One to whom I am indebted. Upon witnessing an injustice, 
It is a perfectly normal response to rush to the aid of he who has been wronged. True enough. Love the, uh, uh, I can't remember the word. Conveying things from one person's head to another. Transference of thought. I can't say telekinesis, but that is not correct. I don't know. You know what I mean. Was it not one of your own men who said, this isn't over? <clears throat> you clearly don't know what's good for you. I won't beat around the bush. Master, if you please, seize their Corlapis. Ooh, battle. Please. Hi. Oh, no, shit. God. You again. Actually, if we use that in combination with that, then we're going to get some nice little combos, except Chung Yun has a disgustingly long cooldown on his shit. Although, his abilities do damage. Wait, where's the strong dude? Why is the strong dude not here? Body and mouth. God. He's so nimble. Look at him. He goes so quickly around the field. Damn. He's so much more agile than my other characters. Here we go. Hi. Oh, yeah, that. That's a good start. I'll just wait for those to finish, shall I? Oh, you're one of the invisible types. Great. Just assess where he's gone. Body and mind. If we freeze you, you can't go anywhere. Hey. Eyes on me. Okay, so maybe he can. Can't run from death. Death? No, you cannot. Impressive. You are no commoners. To continue this fight would be to incur greater losses than I can accept. But you're okay to run from the fight. Well, Maltzai won't take that kindly. To be fair, though, I don't think he's going to remain there for too much longer, so that's okay. Their strength is almost spent. Finish them off. The core lapis is almost within our grasp. Our crash. strength is almost spent? Bruh, we barely took any damage. Might I remind you that the Fatui's relationship with you extends to business matters only? Perhaps not even that. Going forward? I did not lend you my men to have them stir up trouble at your beck and call. W w what are you saying? Master, everything I did, I did with only one thing in mind. To complete the order! Then figure it out by yourself. Sucker. D don't go. Wait! Master, wait! Wow, you're kind of pathetic. My lord, what are you doing here? Are you hurt? Thanks to this valiant young woman, I am unscathed. My lord? I did not see that coming. No, my lord. You? You are the heir of the Feiyun Commerce Guild? Ah, so it was within their interest to do it. Indeed, my liege. I am Xing Cho. Disciple of the Guhua clan and second son of the Feiyun Commerce Guild manager, and I make no secret of it. Drats! I've been played like a fiddle. Gentry Maotsai. Coercion and intimidation are hardly the attributes of a respectable businessman. The problems that your business practices have created, I have sought to resolve through mine. I shudder to think what the Fatui will do with you if you fail to provide their core lapis. You meddling swine! Well, go on. Tell me, what will you sell it for? Since you asked Chang the Ninth for a discount of 70%, let's fight fire with fire, shall we? Oof. Oh, that's gonna be painful. Three times the market rate sounds yep. fair, no? Oof. How dare you subject me to such viciousness? This is a malicious and calculated attempt Wait. to run me into the ground. If it's 70%, that's 30% off. Shouldn't you be charging him 30% extra? So it should be 130%, not 300%? Hmm. Deep breaths now. <laughs> this is a simple decision. Uh, will you buy or not? I think he will. I... I yeah, he needs the, the core lapis. Fine. Have fine. it your way. I'll find the money somehow. 
Happy now? On behalf of the Feiyun Commerce Guild, I thank you for your business, and hope you will continue to do business with us in future. You? Funny speaking, book reading, guhua geeking, sing cho, are the heir of the Feiyun Commerce Guild? Why do you sound so amazed? All of the above helps him in his position. Funny speaking, he's not funny speaking, he just gets his point across. Book reading means he's intelligent and well read, which can only help in his position as an heir to a commerce guild. I don't know about the guha geeking, guha geeking part, but again, it can only help, I'm sure. He seems very well rounded for his position. So that massive stash of Mora you let us burn through in a day? That was from your private vault? Twas but a paltry sum. I got to make a very sound investment while putting Gentry Maltzai in his place. A classic two birds, one stone situation. Well, yeah, especially since he, he earned back tw three times the, the going prize. So, yeah, don't you rich kids take calligraphy classes the, from a young age? <laughs> very droll. <laughs> my family can always tell me from my handwriting. It's certainly one of my distinguishing features. Yikes! Paimon's been calling you Guhua Geek this whole time! That's because you're an idiot, Paimon. Paimon read in one of these martial artist novels that when rich heirs like you get angry at someone, you have their arms and legs chopped off! Cool! Then I can have Paimon's emergency food. Sounds like a plan. <gasps> Paimon's toast! And sorry! Very sorry! Please don't hurt Paimon! Calm down. Since you can fly, you hardly need your legs <gasps> anyway. <laughs> yes! <laughs> This is not a drill. Repeat, this is not a drill! He's so obviously joking. What kind of book did you say you read this in? Jokes aside, I have the two of you to thank for this successful resolution. Really, you were a huge help. Meanwhile, Legend of the Shattered Halberd was positively riveting. Much obliged if you could return it to King the Ninth for me. You're making us run yet another errand? I did nothing, and hence deserve none of his gratitude. The two of you, meanwhile, though strangers to the circumstances, stepped in and saved the day. To have made such valiant and chivalrous friends is more than enough for me, my liege. My lord, uh, forgive the intrusion. It's about your father. What is he dead? Please inform my father <laughs> thusly. I have averted a disaster and earned a sizable sum of money in the process. Might this meritorious act compensate for my prior transgressions and earn me a few more days of freedom, perchance? Legend of the Shattered Halberd speaks of a domain that I should very much like to investigate. Ooh, d do we get to come along? For all your clever long words, the fact is you're just a lazy bones who doesn't want to work. <laughs> what if I told you that a reward awaits you at Cheng the Ninth's palace, and not just his gratitude? A reward? Hmm. Well, that sweetens the deal somewhat. A reward? Wouldn't you prefer its food? Ah. <sighs> It seems whatever I say, there's no persuading you to stay. Why didn't you tell us Xing Chu was the Feiyun heir? Oh, I didn't realize you weren't aware. Yeah, I mean, as he says, well, not Zhu, um, Zhu, sorry, um, Xing Chu was saying it's not a secret. So it's not something you go, hi, I'm the heir of the Commerce Guild. I missed Feiyun there. Yep, uh, you don't go around saying that. You just expect people to know, or it's not really that important. Thank you in advance for returning the book for me. I will take my leave now. May we meet again, fellow merchants. Yeah, that's my last foray into merchanting, that's for sure. Legend of the Shattered Halberd has been added. Now we must take it to its rightful owner. Back up the mountain.